Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see create a custom image with docker file. Let me change it. How to create a custom image. This looks much better. So how to create a custom image with the docker file. So you have realized that okay, the docker is a way forward and I want to build many of the apps using an ASP.NET core. And let's say you have uh, came across this docker hub that contains base images that can be included in your app framework. Let's say to do a POC, you want to take this base image and add the code for one of the web applications to create a new custom image. You also plan want to, this process to be repeatable so it can be automated whenever a new version of the web app is released. Now you create a custom image with the Docker file. To create a Docker image containing your application, you will typically begin by identifying a base image to which you add additional files and configuration. The process of identifying a suitable base image usually starts with search on Docker Hub for ready-made images that already contains an application framework and all the utilities and tools of a Linux distribution like Ubuntu or Alpine. For example, if you have an ASP.NET Core application that you want to package into a container, Microsoft publishes an image called ASP.NET. that already contains the ASP.NET Core runtime. An image can be customized by starting a container with the base image and making changes to it. Changes usually involve activities like copying files into the file container from the local file system and running various tools and utilities to compile the code. So when you finish, you would use the docker commit command to save the changes. I'll, I'll show you these things step by step. Let's say you want to do that with Visual Studio Code. Make sure you have Visual Studio Code also installed on your machine. So you have this Visual Studio Code. Let me create a new file here. Okay. I click on File. I create a new file. So a Docker file is a plain text file containing all the commands needed to build an image. Docker files are written in a minimal scripting language designed for building and configuring images. So let me show you a sample file. So I'll save it. See this, I'm saving it with no extension. So it's a plain text file. I'm going to do it. Docker file and I'm not adding any extension here right this is the content of the docker file so if you would see so in the from statement the first one the from statements download the specified image and creates a new container based on the image the base image that I'm picking up from the docker hub now, if you will see the work directory command, the, the second command. So, the work directory command sets the current working directory in the container. And now the copy command. The copy command copies files from the host computer to the container. The first argument, which is my app underscore code, is a file for folder on the host computer, which I don't have. But I will create that project. But if you understand that the copy command specifying is the second argument which is dot specifies the name of the file or folder to act as the destination in the container. So the, in this case the destination is the current working directory which is this. Now if you would see the run dot net build command the fourth one the run command executes the command in the container. So when the container starts it would execute this dot net build command. And the expose command creates configuration in the new image that specifies which ports are intended to be opened when the container is running. So if the container is a web app, it is exposed to a common port 80. And the entry point is uh, command specify the operation the container should run when it starts. So in this example, it would run the newly built app and we specify the command to be run and each of its argument as a string array. 
also by convention applications meant to be packaged as docker images typically have a docker file located in the root of their source code and it's almost always named docker file without any extension the docker build command would create a new image by running a docker file and uh, if you want to specify a specific docker file then you will have to use the dash f flag that would indicate the name of the docker file to use and now if you want to use this concept to customize a docker image to run the own web app so what i'll do is i am going to clone so let me bring up the terminal so this is my terminal so i'm going to so we can use command prompt i can use uh, the terminal from here as well so this is the folder on under which i'm going to do my labs and i would use the git clone command to clone an existing directory so i'm doing i'm using git clone cloning this from this repository i'm going to go enter hit so it would clone the existing code or repo in the my working directory okay now i'm going to move to that folder i'm going to go and move to ms learn folder under source directory so in this directory i will create a new file named docker file with no file extension and open it in a text editor so i've launched notepad++ okay i'm going to do this and paste the content i'm going to save it and i will save as i'm going to do under this folder as a docker file this this is done so my docker file is done and So if you would see so i'm going to add few more things here so i will do no 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 like this i will go here i will do copy i will do place dot and dot then i will do work directory if you would see the file now so i have do so if you would see the run dot net publish command here on line number 9 so this dot net publish command copies the executables for the website to a new folder and removes any interim files and if you would see the 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 tenth command which is export 80 so it it opens up the port 80 in the container the second command moves to the app folder containing the published version of the web app the final command specifies that when the container run it should execute this command so i save this file i'll go to my visual studio code and i'll do docker build i'm building so i'm i've saved it to the sample docker file so this command will build the image so docker build command would build an image from the docker file so i'll do docker build get to this dash t am specifying the name of the docker file 
So Docker build would uh, store the locally and the image is given the name reservation system. So I'm building an image using the Docker file. I'm tagging the image name with this name. You can give it any name. Right? And when you place a dot, specifying the Docker file from the local folder. Sorry. Now, if you would see the Docker image list, it would show you this image, right? So, you created a Docker file. And then out of the Docker file, you ran, you ran the Docker build command. You created an image out of that Docker file. Now, if you want to run a container using the image, you use the command docker run. So docker run will respond with a lengthy string of exabyte digits. So, if you would see the docker run command, so you would see docker run. Remember to open up the ports. Right, so you are opening port 8080 on your local computer, which would be mapped to the port 80 on the container. And then you are specifying it with the name. And you are using this image. Right. So now you know that you create a Docker file, then you build an image using that Docker file and then you run uh, that image using the Docker run command. Alright, so these are the steps and now we'll see in the next video how to deploy uh, the Docker image to an Azure container instance. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.